I've just come back from Qatar and everywhere I went, from inside World Cup stadiums to public markets and streets, people were carrying the Palestinian flag. Its prominence has surprised a lot of people and it tells us something really interesting about the Arab world. A few years ago, a bunch of Arab governments signed normalization agreements with Israel. They agreed to recognize Israel's existence, to set up embassies, start trading, and openly cooperating on security. But none of these Arab countries that signed these agreements are real democracies. Their people were never consulted on whether they wanted to make deals with a country that's been illegally occupying Palestinian land for more than 50 years. And we've never really had a sense of what Arab populations think of these agreements until this month. We want to present this win to Palestine and to all the Arab nation and Muslims. The World Cup is one of the few occasions where people from Arab countries have been able to gather and express themselves politically. And while Qatar has frowned on protests promoting the rights of gay and queer people, it's had no problem with people pushing the Palestinian cause. Palestinian solidarity is coming not just from the Arabs, it's coming from uh, foreigners also. <laughs> and so, fans and teams have used the tournament to send a message that even though their governments now enjoy decent relations with Israel, that doesn't reflect what everyone in those countries thinks. For Palestinians, this solidarity is a reminder that even though their cause is struggling, they still have sympathy across the Arab world and for Arab governments, it's a sign that even though they're ready to push the Palestinian cause down their list of priorities, their people are not.